Hi, my name is Tian Huang, and today I'm going to show you how to do uh, keyword research uh, using uh, Google AdWords. Now, there's a couple of reasons why you would want to do keyword research. Um, actually, there's a whole host of reasons, but probably the most uh, common uh, two are uh, keyword research if you're trying to uh, set up a like, Google AdWords campaign. You want to make sure that you are um, that you're you're using the correct. Hi, my name is Yan Peng, and today I'm going to show you how to do keyword research using the uh, using the Google uh, uh, AdWords uh, keyword primer tool. So there are a couple of re actually there are a whole host of reasons why people do keyword research, but the two primary ones are uh, if you're uh, setting up a Google AdWords campaign, you want to make sure that as far as uh, uh, you're, you're targeting with the keywords that yeah, you're using the the keywords that's going to lend to you converting um, prospective customers over. And the other is uh, if you're doing um, it is uh, for uh, SEO purposes, you want to make sure that you're optimizing for the keywords that get the highest search volumes and also you're going to get the competition levels and so forth. So um, what you want to do is A, you have to have a Google AdWords account, which is free to, uh, to sign up. Once you have it signed up, you want to log into your dashboard, go to tools, and then go to the keyword planner. So, um, for those of you who might have dabbled with uh, Google um, AdWords in the past, um, this is a relatively new interface, the Keyword Planner. I think before it was just called the, the Keyword uh, keyword Tool or, or something along the, the lines of that. Um, click onto a search for a new keyword, and over here I'm going to type in uh, screen printing, for example. And then I can click on Get Ideas. You're not going to see this. This is just for, uh, uh, we paused this campaign for a while and I think uh, the, the, the card uh, was changed. But basically when you log in, you're going to, uh, to see a bunch of uh, ad group ideas. So, and then if you click on Keyword Ideas, you'll actually see uh, the, the list of keywords that are um, both the ones you typed in here will be under search terms. And then beneath that are all of the, the keywords that um, are related. If you click into the uh, ad group ideas, um, basically this is kind of their um, Google's way of grouping keywords together based on a certain theme. Um, if you click into uh, the keyword ideas, so so in AdWords when you're sending a campaign, let's say that your your keyword is screen printing, well. If you look at here, you might be uh, getting keywords such as maybe uh, cheap screen printing, uh, DIY or do-it-yourself uh, screen printing. So if you're a screen printer, you want to stay away from some of these keywords uh, because uh, um, people will click and it's going to um, take money out of your campaign budget and there's no purchase intent. And what you want to do is, is line up people to have uh, the intent of purchasing or buying or, or utilizing your service. Um, you can uh, also, uh, one of the things you can do is, is um, that's really neat is if, so let's say that you have all these keywords here, you can actually click on to download, and you can download uh, Excel CSV, and basically it limits it to uh, 800 uh, keywords. And it says 801 because the first, uh, Row is basically your your heading, uh, the heading for what these things are. So in your keyword research, what you can uh, do is um, you can select all, and then you go to if it's The, uh, the computer that I use typically for this looks a little, I think it's a different, um, it's one of the older versions of Excel, so the heading's a little bit different. Basically, I want to um, to filter, to enable the, the filtering so I can sort by average monthly searches. 
There you go. So um, what I can do now is I can uh, drop this down and then I can select uh, from largest to smallest and if you want to and, and if this is let's say a keyword research for SEO what you can do is is you don't want I mean you basically want uh, keywords with a significant amount of search volume so you can um, even do something along the lines of you want the average monthly searches to be greater than 200 and that will basically uh, shorten your, your, your list so if you're doing uh, if you're you do keyword research mainly for AdWords it doesn't really matter in that sense because you can have just load up a ton of keywords even if that low search uh, volume if they have a high search intent that's all that, that really matters but if you're doing SEO it really doesn't matter I mean it it, it would make a lot more sense if you're optimizing keywords that actually have uh, a significant amount of uh, search volume um, so basically this tool allows you to 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 uh, or Excel within Excel you can filter through the average uh, monthly searches and the average monthly searches this is an estimated figure and also from month to month generally some of these keywords searches may change and and you'll see that if let's say uh, you search for a keyword uh, and then you know two three months later you search again you know hey how come the uh, average monthly searches have changed uh, the reason is because they, they they do Google does update this information. And let's say that if you want to filter how much you're paying for certain keywords, here's the thing with, with that though. Let's say that a keyword is a dollar uh, or or 50 cents or, uh, or or something relatively low, but may, they may not have that high of a purchase intent. So it makes a lot, it, it makes more sense to uh, bid on a keyword at, at uh, $9 if the keyword is, let's say, um, uh, purchase bulk t-shirts that's a lot more targeted uh, than free t-shirt ideas uh, which have virtually no purchase intent behind even though one keyword spin uh, may be like nine dollars and the other may be um, 20 cents so that's something to keep in mind so when you're uh, so don't look at it from just the face value of hey here's the the, the bid amounts and I want to get as many clicks as possible within uh, you know, within your your budget you want to make sure that when you're running these campaigns that uh, you are taking purchase intent into consideration and when you do uh, when you are running your uh, campaigns generally what what I do is I'll load up the ones uh, that that have purchase intent but I'll set up as uh, broad keywords, and then once I actually see the conversions go in, I can then create another campaign in AdWords and set that as exact match, and then slowly um, move all those keywords from the broad campaign into the exact match uh, campaign. Uh, and what that will do is basically it will, it will eliminate a lot of the excess spending. But you want to do the, the broad campaign in the beginning so you can get uh, get as much data as possible to uh, to to work with. Uh, now, if you're doing SEO keyword research, another thing you can do is if I type in screen printer, I have a setup here so it displays 100 per page. I'm going to open the incognito window and search for it. So, notice when I typed in screen printer, if I scroll down here, uh, here are some suggestions by Google. Um, what what I can do is I can load these into uh, the address tool by clicking on to copy, switch over here, and then I can uh, just paste it into here, and then I can click get ideas. So I can find out what the average monthly search volume is for these set of keywords that are suggested uh, by Google on their uh, um, search uh, on on their related searches based on that keyword that they display um, on their search engine results page so if I go back to here I uh, yeah I get some pretty uh, a pretty good idea of hey um, you yeah, know these keywords have high search volume so if let's say you're a screen printing uh, manufacturer or you sell screen printing material uh, um, such as uh, inks or plastic saw or or uh, uh, silk screens or or uh, so forth then these might be really good keywords to do SEO uh, for um, 
If you're doing an AdWords, then keywords that you probably want to eliminate is screen printer Amazon because they might just be looking to purchase a home screen, uh, screen printing kit from Amazon. And you notice that the, uh, the, the suggested bid here is super, super low. That's because people generally, the ones that are really, really, really low, uh, low uh, bids or CPCs or um, cost per clicks, um, people have probably tried those keywords and they don't make money from it or people are just, you know, I mean, just at a glance, I don't have to, uh, to try it to, to figure out that, you know, there's no search intent unless you're a, uh, unless you're an Amazon affiliate and you have a page dedicated to, uh, to some screen printing, uh, um, material. So hopefully this gives you a pretty good idea of how to do uh, keyword research. Now there are tons, tons of, of additional tools out there, uh, such as Scrapebox and, uh, um, there's a couple more, uh, but I uh, don't remember the name off the, the top of my head. I have on the other computer. But um, hopefully this gives you a pretty good idea. And if you found this video helpful, uh, like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, also, if you need help managing your uh, AdWords campaign, uh, I am pretty selective about uh, what clients I take on. But if it's a good match, uh, uh, I'd be more than happy to uh, discuss further. Also, if you're looking to increase visibility, exposure, and traffic to your website, um, this is uh, this is my business, uh, Press Release Jet. It's the only press release distribution service that uh, provides guaranteed placement across 350 plus media sites, including ABC, NBC, Fox, CW, and, and many, many more. Uh, also, uh, the press releases show up on top of Google, shows up on top of Google News, Yahoo, Bing, and you will get visibility and search traffic. And also, uh, uh, you do see some of these backlinks show up in Google Webmaster Tools, so it's good for, uh, great for SEO as well. So, with that said, thank you very much for watching, and thank you for subscribing.